What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. We're gonna start at the very top. I'm just gonna lightly work our way down, just pulling the pencil towards us. Now we don't wanna to go too dark because we'll eventually erase this out. Let's go to the center of that line and draw another line going out toward the left. And we'll extend that out towards the right. Now we're going to use these guidelines to help us create a circle. From the center, let's go all the way up towards the top. I'm just going to mark off the top of our circle. And then we'll take that same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's add two more hash lines across this horizontal line of equal distance. So we'll take this line going out toward the left and mark that off and then take that distance towards the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to connect each of these marks with a curve to create our circle. Let's start with the top left. Now this circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and general shape. We can always go back and just readjust this if we need to. Now from here we're going to draw two more guidelines coming down from the side of our circle. Let's start with the left and then the right side. Now extend these lines up towards the top. Now we're gonna start blocking out the basic facial features. Let's start with the eyes. Let's start from that center line right in the middle and draw a circle coming down and then back up towards the top. Let's move to the center of the right side and draw the same size circle coming down towards the same height and then back up. Let's clip off the bottom of the circle, starting over on the left. I'm going to pull this up a little bit higher and over towards the inside. I'll line that up on the right. Let's add two circles from the bottom of the eyelid, going up towards the top and then back down. And line that up on the right side. Now we're going to go to the bottom of our circle and sketch another circle for the tip of the nose, going all the way around. Let's add two small half circles along the side for the nostrils. And then from the outside of the nose, we're going to bend this in and then out around the eyes along the inside. Let's go to the tip of the nose, we're going to step down, sketch a line going out from left to right. Now this will be the line for the mouth. Let's move out to the side, we're just going to lift up the mouth on the corners, it's going to come down and then back in towards the middle. From the center of the mouth, we're going to go all the way down and just mark off the chin, so right about here. Now I'm going to go out to the side and round up the jaw and pull that in towards the chin. So let's start on the left side. I'm going to round this out. It's going to angle in toward the chin, towards a point. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Rounding out the jaw, pulling that in, and it'll smooth out the chin. Now we're going to go back up towards the top and draw in the eyebrows. Leaving a small gap in the center, draw two lines. One on the left and one on the right. From that center line, we're going to step up on the left side, go straight across, and then bend that down. And step up and do that again, going out and just tapering down towards the outside corner of the eyebrows. Now we're going to line up at the bottom edge of the eyes out towards the side of the head and draw a half circle for the ears. We're going to go out and then bend that back in. Now I want to add some shape to the hairline. Starting on the left side of our circle, let's go this up, across the eyebrow, and in. Let's overlap the eyebrows, coming down and across towards the eye. Go up and out towards the right. Let's add another strand, coming down and then in towards the center of the head. Go back up and out. Let's add one smaller point, coming down and in, and then back out. Now I want to add some shape to the outside of the head. Let's start from the right side of our circle. We're going to go up towards the top. Let's 
round this out. Come over towards the left side and down. I just want to bend this out just beside the ear. Let's pull this back in on top of the ear. Then we'll go back to the right side, curve this out and then down. Come down on the outside of the ear and then bend that back out. Pull that back in on top of the ear. Let's go underneath the ears, curve this down and out. Bend that back in behind the head. Now just underneath the chin on either side, we've got two lines coming down the side of the neck. So we'll round up the bottom in between. And then from the side of the neck, we're gonna step up, angle the shoulders coming down and out. Now with our rough sketch in place, let's go back and lightly raise some of these guidelines. And now that we have our clean drawing, let's move to the tip of our pencil and start adding some detail and refining the shape. We're gonna start with the bottom edge of the eyes. We start on the left side, just pulling that in and just fading that out. So just going a little bit darker along the ends of the eye. And then work our way up across the top. Just darkening up the outside and in. Again, just adding a little bit more shape as we go. Go in and just trace the outside of the iris. And just double checking that it's the right size. So we can go a little bigger if we need to. And I use the side edge of my pencil to lightly shade that in. I sketch a smaller circle in the center of the pupil. So we'll start off lightly first. And adding a small highlight circle on the top right inside the iris and it'll darken up the center of the pupil. Now going back to darken up the outside of the iris, and just add a little bit of a shadow coming in. So I'm just going to go around that highlight. along the bottom. I'm using the side edge of my pencil to add a little bit of shadow around the eyes. Now we're going to move down and just start adding some detail to the nose. Starting with the tip. Just working our way around the nostrils. I'm going to add a shadow to the bottom of the nose and then fade that up. I'm going to move to the side edge of my pencil and add some texture to the hair, starting along the bottom. I'm 
and then we can always go back to the tip of our pencil and add some more fine detail. Just adding those hair fibers inside. Now with the hair in place, I'm going to go and layer the eyebrows underneath. shadow to the forehead cast from the hair. Now working our way down the side of the head, again just adding some shape to the cheekbones and the jaw. Add some freckles across the cheeks. I'm going to go back to the side edge of my pencil and continue with the hair. So the hair is just going to cover the top of the ears. Adding those layers and points along the side of the head. Just working with that curve that we've created. And also modifying the shape as we go. You can see I'm just fading these lines as you come up towards the top. back and add some detail to the ears. Starting with the outside edge, going underneath the hair. And again, we're just going to go back to the tip of our pencil and refine the detail. Now just underneath the earlobe on the left, we're going to add those two braids. So just using the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to twirl this around. 
down towards the end, and then just soften up the bottom tips. Okay, let's go back and just add some more detail. Now the head's going to cast a darker shadow just across the top of the neck. And just fade that out as it comes down. Now as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more contrast and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw a hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please give this video a like and share this with your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, then you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.